Hey everybody, welcome to another PE lesson at home. I hope you're staying safe out there. Today we are going to work on improving our hand-eye coordination and your number one concern during this lesson and all of our lessons is staying safe and making sure you have a safe space to do these activities. You're gonna need a decent amount of room to do this. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't have any sharp objects around you. You might wanna check with your family before you start doing these activities. And you're gonna need, uh, for this activity, something to toss and catch with. I have a few options that I'm gonna be working with. I have uh, my niece's soft pink ball. I have a regular tennis ball. I have a little bit larger tennis ball. I have a ping pong ball. I have a, this is a kumquat. It's a type of fruit. Be very careful with that. I have uh, my brother-in-law's USC Trojans softball, and I have a tissue that I can use to toss and catch with. The goal of today is to improve our hand-eye coordination with some catching activities. When I catch something, there's a few things I wanna do. I wanna Make sure that my toss goes straight up in the air so I'm not moving all over the place and crashing into items that could break or could hurt me. I want to make sure that uh, when it comes down that I squeeze it with my hands. It traps inside my hand. It looks like this. I want to make sure I don't toss it so high that I'm hitting a ceiling. And I want to practice on absorbing the force of a falling object by not just trapping with my hands but by having my hands lower as I catch like I'm catching a water balloon or an egg and I don't want the water balloon or the egg to break. Let's get healthy! The first challenge I'm gonna work on is tossing and catching while absorbing the force from just a regular standing position. I'm gonna kneel, but um, you can do this while standing and I'm gonna toss up and absorb the force. Try it 10 times. That's two, that's three, that's four. That's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, and that's 10. <clears throat> There's a few ways you can do this video. One is uh, you can do it as I do it, which is kind of hard, or you can watch me do it, you can pause the video, go practice yourself with your family if you want to, and then come back and restart the video you're welcome to try a number of different balls. If you have different balls or different objects. Oh, I forgot one more. I have one more object. This is my son's uh, socks that I've balled up that I can use to toss and catch. I'll use these soon. And when I'm tossing and catching for this activity, I want to catch most of the time, but not all of the time. If I do it super low, it's, it's really easy for me, but I'm not gonna get much better. I'm gonna go a little bit higher so that I challenge myself and I continually get better. This is what we call having a growth mindset. I'm gonna be pretty good most of the time, but I wanna mess up once in a while so that I know that I'm getting better and I'm challenging myself. Let's get better! My second challenge is gonna be a one-handed catch. I'm gonna use my son's green socks. They're clean, I promise you. And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm tossing straight up. My eyes watch my son's socks and my hand squeezes. One, two, three, four, five. This is a little bit too easy, so I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Six, it's okay. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me switch to my left hand. I'm not so good with this hand, but I can get better. And, ah, I just missed it. Come on. Two, and three, and four, six and seven and eight and nine and ten pause the video and practice i'm going to next work on catching at a high level with my green tennis ball that means my hands will be above my head when i catch this is a tennis ball i gotta be careful not to go too high you know, and one and two and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, 
and then you might even be able to do this <clears throat> while you're watching TV if there's plenty of space for you to do this. Take a little break and get better at improving your hand and your eye coordination. Pause the video and practice! Now I'm going to switch to catching low, so I'm going to toss up and catch um, at the bottom of your screen. Try it while standing so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, here we go, tossing up. And, uh, I got one, got it. And I got two. My knees bend like I'm sort of doing a squat three. It's good for my legs. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Pause the video. And practice! Then I'm gonna to switch to tossing, jumping and catching. I wanna be so careful when I do this. I'm gonna do really small jumps. If you have more space, you could do higher jumps. Okay, looks like this. Tossing. One. Two. Three. Pause the video and practice. I'm gonna switch to the ping pong ball and I'm gonna see if I can walk and catch. Looks like this. One, two, three. I'm gonna try one hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause the video and practice. I'm gonna see if I can toss, clap, and catch. You might remember this from our PE classes. I'm gonna try the kumquat. I'm gonna come real close to you so you can see the kumquat it looks like this. That's delicious. Okay, it's like this. Toss. One, two. If I'm getting better, I toss a little bit higher. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Pause the video and practice. Okay. Next challenge I'm gonna try with my ping. Ball. I'm going to toss, see if I can touch my head and catch. Then level two is toss, head, shoulders, catch. Level three, toss, head, shoulders, knees, and catch. Oh boy, that looks like this. Toss, head, catch. I got to move my hands pretty fast. Toss, head, catch. Once I'm doing pretty well with tossing, touching my head and catching, I'm going to switch to level two. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, catch. Head, shoulders, catch. I missed my head, shoulders, catch. Okay. The bare level. Head, shoulders, knees, and catch. I gotta be pretty fast. I'm gonna move this chair a little bit. Out of the way for safety. Okay, here we go. Head, shoulders. That toss was not perfect. Head, shoulders, knees, ah, almost. I'm gonna try to crouch down a little bit. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Head, shoulders, nope. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Head, shoulders, nope. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Head, shoulders, knees, catch. Almost, almost. And I'll try that a few more times. If it's too fast and the ball you're using drops too fast, for any of these activities, you might switch to a clean tissue or a clean paper towel, and I'll have a lot more time to toss, head, catch. Toss, head, catch. Oops. It's a little tricky to catch, actually, because it sort of moves around the room as it falls. Okay, level two. Head, shoulders, oh boy, it's tricky. It really moves. Toss, head, shoulders, catch. 
and head, shoulders, knees. Okay, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees. Yes. It slowly drops, but it moves around, which is tricky. Head, shoulders, knees. Catch. Pause the video. And practice. I'm gonna switch to my 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 last challenge, which is a, a, a challenge that is dangerous. If you have a dangerous space, so be very careful. Make sure you have room. I'm gonna see if I can toss, spin my body, and catch before the ball hits the ground. I'm gonna go to this USC Trojan uh, softball. It looks like this. I don't have much space above my head, so I gotta be really careful. Tossing, spinning, and I got lucky on that one. Okay, tossing, spinning, catching. Tossing, spinning, catching. I'm always using my eyes to find my ball quickly as I do it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Almost. And I'll work on that one a bunch more times. Pause the video and practice. You can always add extra challenges to these tossing and catching challenges yourself. If you have an idea, you clap behind your back. You could stand on one foot. You could dance and catch. There's lots of ways to get better at tossing and catching. And if like me, you're spending more time than usual in front of a television screen, watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu, then there should be lots of time for you to get a little bit active to improve your hand-eye coordination with tossing and catching, to do some muscular endurance of your core or your upper body or your lower body, some jumping jacks for cardio, respiratory endurance. There's lots of ways to stay healthy. I hope that you are staying healthy at home. I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.